This is a memo that describes how we're going to take out seven countries in five years, starting with Iraq and then Syria, Lebanon, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, and finishing off Iran. This is the New World. Take a good look at it. Brought to you by the New World Order. Death, destruction, and despair. Ask yourself, who do you think is responsible for this? The good guys or the bad guys? To make that determination, just ask yourself, have things gotten better or worse the last 15 years or so? The answer should be obvious, and the cause is best explained by what we saw in the 2004 election cycle, when we were given a choice between skull and bones and 322. <laughs> a false choice, a false left right paradigm. The only choice is self destruction by self appointed members of the cult of death. That's the bottom line. That's what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen. There is no pro choice, only pro death. There is no democracy, only tyranny. There is no freedom and fair play. There is no due process in Nazi America, where the system is rigged and where the fascist politicians are above the law. We've all seen this in action. These people that we elect, they have haven't made the world a better place, they've made things worse. And they're trying to drag the whole world into a world war. Our imperial masters silence the opposition, they censor the independent media, and they appoint puppets to be our politicians. They unleash war, GMOs, chemtrails. Who knows what they're spraying us with on a daily basis? Who knows what they're feeding us or what's in the water we drink? The people in Flint, Michigan don't know. The people in Sacramento, California didn't know. Nor did the people in Toledo, Ohio. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what we're being fed in this guinea pig lab experiment, modern day America. Species are dying off at a record rate. Scientists say the next big extinction has begun. Nobody knows who's really in charge in this country, but what we do know is it seems to be anti-Christian in ideology. That's who's running the show. So the next question that we should be asking ourselves here is when are we as Christians going to be offended by the rapid moral decline of our society, by the terraforming of our planet, by the endless experimentations done on our citizens? When are we going to demand freedom? We should all be holding up placards saying, Mr. President, let our people go. We want to be separate and equal. While atheists might seem to like the products of their evil deeds, atheists seem to think what's right for them is right for the rest rest of us. They brainwash our children, they indoctrinate the public, and they use instruments of destruction to wage a silent war against the American people. We've had enough. We want to be free. Free from false choices. Free from people calling good evil and evil good. Let liberal slavery thrive in the slave states, but let us as conservatives and libertarians be free in free states. Speed and direction will lead you to a destination. There's a million and one videos out there that tell you what direction we're going on right now, ladies and gentlemen. Every music award, every halftime show, every TV show, and just about every news broadcast is singing the very same tune. They're singing about the Illuminati. They're singing about anti-Christian ideology. That's right, they have an agenda, and right now they're controlling the momentum. They control the media, the corporations, the government, city, local, Local, state and federal evildoers are in charge and they want three things. They want your guns, they want your Bible, and they want your soul. Everybody knows what this truck is carrying, but the question is, who are they carrying it for? Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen, look at that. Can this truckload of coffins be any creepier? Oh, I think not. Let me replay an episode of world history. The great strength of our order lies in its concealment. Let it never appear in any place in its own name, but always covered by another name and another occupation. None is fitter than the three lower degrees of Freemasonry. The public is accustomed to it, expects little from it, and therefore takes little notice of it." End of quote. A new world order with him at the helm. Secondly, to destroy Judaism and Christianity. And thirdly, to establish a new religion with a combination of mystic Paganism, Spiritism, and Occultism. The possibility to exterminate an entire country can occur at the flip of a switch without warning and without the possibility to shelter. Ladies and gentlemen, these cell phone towers are not what they seem. The standard range for communication towers is about 10 to 20 miles. 
yet there are hundreds if not thousands in every major city. They normally keep the power on low, but these towers can get jacked up and have enough power to nuke a city near you, like a giant microwave oven. These towers, disguised as telecommunications towers, can deliver death at the speed of light. No anti-missile defense system needed. No early detection is possible. The power running through these units is equivalent to hundreds of microwave ovens. They are giant microwave oven towers. And the oven is your city. And in any major city, there are dozens per square mile. They can light you up like a candlestick. And little by little, these things have gone up everywhere. People look at them. Oh, look, another cell phone tower. If people only understood, these aren't just cell phone towers. These towers are extermination towers. The World Health Organization recently classified cell phone towers and cell phone radiation as a health hazard. And that's putting it mildly. However, with just a slight modification of these towers, that is to say a flip of a switch, these towers can be transmitting microwaves of a deadly nature. You could call this idea government-sanctioned extermination by cell tower. But officially, it's called silent weapons for quiet wars. And in the wrong hands, these ideas could be called cell tower terrorism. And nobody wants to say a word about it because they couldn't possibly live without their cell phone. A foreign power could hijack our communications network tomorrow and nuke the population without them even knowing it or being able to do anything about it. The scenarios here are endless. These towers have looked like virtual guard towers since the beginning, and it only makes sense that they could be able to shoot rays into designated zones. And by what we've stumbled upon so far, it looks like these cell phone towers are just a small piece to another rather complex puzzle. We've discovered numerous US patents regarding various delivery methods for nano-sized weapons triggered by electromagnetic waves. These weapons are called matro weapons, M-A-T-R-O, matro weapons consisting of nano-micro capsules containing DNA or chemicals for transfection purposes. That's a mouthful. But what that means is they can deliver tiny capsules the size of dust, smaller than dust, that can enter your cells and that can release DNA or chemicals and turn you into a GMO, a genetically modified organism. Transfection is what they do to make GMOs. And instead of turning a tomato into a tomato, they can turn people into something else. They can deliver these nano micro capsules through aerial dispersal, by driving a car down a street, into any populated area. People will breathe it in, drink it in, rub it in, and then they can be activated via frequency transmission. These micro bubbles can contain DNA or chemicals. And what would be the purpose of that? They could fake an outbreak in a designated area by activating a cell phone array. They could do it for a specific neighborhood or for an entire city and nobody would be the wiser. And nobody would be looking for transgenic micro bubbles as the source of the infection. All of this technology is well documented. It absolutely exists, and the question you should be asking yourself here is, do you want a nuclear weapon disaster parked in your neighborhood? You can call it a cell phone tower if you want to, but it's a nuclear bomb just waiting to go off. It just needs the right hacker or the right rogue state or the wrong politician to push the button. Do you trust a politician? Given what we know about our government, they probably already have this plan set up to nuke us all in case things go wild. If we don't accept their new world agenda, all they have to do is flip a switch, and there ain't no bulletproof vest for that. If you live within 10 or 20 miles of a cell phone tower, you could be affected by this technology. And again, no one can see it coming. Imagine, lights out for the entire country at the flick of a switch and nobody's warning you. You could wake up in the morning, turn on the television, they say breaking news, the entire East Coast has been wiped out and nobody knows why. 
People just dropped dead everywhere and nothing was destroyed. It's the perfect weapon for the NWO. Extermination without mass destruction. A weapon of mass extermination. One thing's for sure, we don't need 10,000 nuke towers per major city. And now that they've built up a grid, all they need to do is flip the switch. We need those towers taken down. Our entire system is broken and it needs to be changed. We need term limits. We need to take money out of politics so that we can take GMOs out of our food, so that we can take fluoride out of our water, so that we can take mercury out of our vaccines, so that we can take chemtrails out of our skies, and so that we can take fracking out of our neighborhoods. We need to change the way people are being elected in this country. We need to turn our fellow countrymen into patriots instead of zombies. We need to reform schools. We need to quarantine liberals and place them in sanctuary cities where we can wall them up and turn it into a science experiment. We need to end wars, we need to take care of our own, and we need to let cars run on water. We need major change in this country, and we need a new way to get us there. The current model, the current corporate juggernaut is not going to take us to a better world. It's just not. We need a real democracy, a country for, of, and by the people, not for, of, and by the corporation. We need truth. We need 9-11 truth. We need transparency. We need disclosure. We need to end the police state, to end the state-run fear porn masquerading as mainstream news. We need to end lame duck politics because politicians are not in control. Government has become a tool wielded by the elite against the poor. A tool atheists can use to hammer people of faith. We need change in this country and that's why I'm running for president. If I'm elected president, I will end tyranny. I will make the world a better place. I will end abortion. I will end pollution. I will end our wars. I will make energy, healthcare, and education free for our citizens. Until your candidate says that, you might as well be voting for McDonald's. Politicians are not in control, and government is not your friend. The entire system is a sham. Vote Ron Johnson. This is STF News, and if you're listening to this, you are the resistance. Close your window, go back to the back of the house, answer the door. Investigate 9-11, and 9-11 was perpetrated by people within our own government. New advertising screens shaped like giant human eyes have been installed as part of the revamp of Birmingham New Street Station. They use cutting-edge facial recognition technology to profile groups. What you're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen, is the current face of the NWO Beast System. Are you finding it difficult to compete in today's job market? Are you not getting the promotion you deserve? Well, the new Superbrain from 2045.com is the answer. No one will be able to compete with you once our new Superbrain has been put in place. How does it work? It's as easy as going to the dentist. We'll sit you down and the chair does the rest. It administers a quick anesthetic to knock you the fuck out and then the robot takes over. It carefully removes your old retro brain and inserts the new Superbrain in its place automatically. While the procedure might seem a bit traumatic, you won't feel a thing. And once the gutting has taken place, we'll download our version of your personality back into your new super brain and you will be free to do as we tell you. It's as easy as that. Side effects may include not knowing who you are, where you're from, or what you're doing. Loss of consciousness can also be expected during software updates. Consult your physician for more details. That's superbrain from 2045.com. Satisfaction guaranteed. Superbrain2045.com.